I don't know if you guys can even see me right now because I can't really see the screen. Morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Sorry for the super loud noise in the background. The lawn people are here mowing our lawn and my ring doorbell's going off and they're like right in front of our windows. It's just super loud right now. But I just finished getting ready for the day and I just blow dried my hair so it's like super puffy frizz ball. This is my hair lately, you guys. If you have any tips for frizzy hair, please let me know because my hair is just like this all the time. Um, super frizzy but I did just put some oil in it and I curl it today's Thursday new arrivals hit the site tomorrow and I'm actually going to shoot with one of my models Emily for some of the new arrivals and I'm super excited also peep the tank top this is the one that I made with my Cricut and I got this tank top for like five dollars at Target and then I just put my logo on it it's so cute I have 15 minutes to put these curls in my hair and then I have to go so we're gonna hope I have enough time to do this I also don't want them to be super pronounced so I'm not gonna hold it on there for very long I want it to be really loose so that will help speed up the process too all right we're gonna start with this lower section totally did that uneven but it's fine I'm gonna try and make these like literal just waves not curls at all so I'm gonna do them so that they almost don't even look like a curl and then I'm gonna brush them out because according to what I've learned on the internet that is the best way to make them less curly and I feel like lately when I've curled my hair and tried to do this I'm holding it on too long and I'm making more curls rather than waves which is not what I want so we're gonna try like for five seconds or something I don't know I'm not the best at curling my hair but you know I try practice makes perfect <laughs> Also, I wanted to apologize for the lack of videos this week. I feel like I've been in a little bit of a creative rut, not gonna lie. Um, my videos have been a bit repetitive because that's what my life consists of, is just kind of running the boutique and working out and going to the grocery store. And like, I feel like my life is a little bit mundane. And so my vlogs end up kind of reflecting that. And I just want to try and come back and produce better content for you guys, because a lot of you expressed your interest in seeing things relating to budgeting and more specific things relating to the boutique. So instead of just like the typical, here's what I'm doing, packing orders, tagging, going through inventory, you know, you want to see like how I order new products for the inventory and how I save and budget for the business. And like, more detailed things and I do hear you and I want to create that content I want to make things that you guys want to see so just know that it's on my mind and it's really hard for me to have a conversation right now because the people outside my window mowing the lawn are just distracting I think I actually figured out how to do the little wave instead of the curl like this is definitely more mermaid waves than curls and I really like it it was actually way faster than curling my hair and now I'm just gonna put some of this honey oil in it it just kind of helps control the frizz that I get at the ends of my hair so, run that through and we're good to go I like it. I think I did a decent job. Okay, I just parked at our meeting location. I have my camera and all of the clothes in the back and I'm just waiting for Emily to get here and then I'm gonna go take pictures. And then after that, I'm thinking about going and grabbing a coffee because even though I already had one, I want one. Wow, these lawn people just follow me wherever I go because they're also here literally right in front of my car with their giant leaf blowers. <laughs>
and I got a package in the mail from Shopify. They told me they were sending me something because they're proud of my success running my boutique through them. And I'm really excited to see what this is because I have no idea what it is. She just told me that they were gonna send me a surprise and this was like a few weeks ago. What the heck? Melissa, keep up the great work, you rock. It's a counter, but I'm confused. I'm confused. I feel like an idiot, but I am confused. I think this is supposed to track the number of sales that I've made. It's like a little counting device. Okay, I have to go figure out how to connect this now. This is really cool. Okay guys, it's way later now. I did set this up though, so I thought I would show it to you guys. It's so cool. It has like a wooden background. It's like a fake wood. And then this updates in real time. So this is how many orders that I've had since I opened my business. And then I just decided to set this up here, which I didn't show you guys. I do have stickers, which I think I did show you guys these. And then of course I showed you guys uh, the keychains, but I also just got magnets. So how cute are these? Just more little free gifts to give away as a thank you. Shout out to Shopify for the super cool little counting thing. I feel so honored to have received this. Also just organized my little cart and so it looks so nice. I don't think it's looked this nice in a really long time. So I have a little ribbon here because sometimes I like to tie a ribbon around some of the larger orders to kind of hold everything together. Plus it looks really pretty. And then I have new transparent stickers to stick on the uh, orders as they come in. These are like transparent, although it's kind of hard to tell. There you go. And then regular stickers if I end up using unbranded packaging. And then I have my thank you cards that just have the logo on the back. And then these ones which are blank on the back to write on. Keychains, pearl clips. And then these are just like little cards that I like to hang on jewelry and stuff. Got all of this so organized and it feels amazing because I really have not had it organized like this in a while. Good morning guys. It is the next day. And I am actually on my way to the beach to meet with another model who's going to shoot some more of the new arrivals that are going live this morning. Nothing like waiting until the last minute. But I'm actually in the Starbucks drive through right now about to order a coffee because you guys know I need my coffee if I'm going to go do anything early. Or anything at all really. Can I please do a grande iced caramel macchiato? A grande iced caramel macchiato? Okay. And that's all. It's gonna be 528, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. I don't know why, but I decided to get a caramel macchiato this morning instead of like my regular coffee. I feel like I want some espresso, kind of switch it up a little bit and I didn't even do, oh, I should have did oat milk. I'm an idiot, I got regular milk. I was gonna say I didn't even do almond milk because I meant to do oat milk. <laughs> I suck. Just got to the beach. I wanna show you guys how freaking beautiful it is here in the morning honestly like therapy to me coming this early. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I can't believe that I get to live in this beautiful place. I'm just waiting for Leandra so I thought I would come onto the beach and just walk around while I'm waiting. It's so freaking gorgeous and it's also like pretty overcast for the most part or it could just because it's so early that it's like pretty dark so the photos are going to turn out so good in this lighting and there's also a couple down there like taking pictures with a tripod which i think is so genius if i could convince chad to do that that would be amazing like bring my good camera set up a tripod and then him and i like have our own early morning photo shoot because there's like barely anyone here so it'd be the perfect time to do it if i could convince him to do that unlikely but maybe back at my car i'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of how i prep for the photo shoots so a lot of you guys have enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes stuff so i'm trying to get like more into it so this is kind of how i plan out the photo shoots i print and type out the model that i'm working with and then i plan out the outfits i'm just doing four with her today which is about average of what i shoot with the models on a weekly basis. I usually shoot with like one or two that's kind of in the average per week. So the outfits get planned out. I throw them all in a bag and then I have my camera in here of course which I don't know if I ever told you guys but I use the uh, Canon 80D and then I have a 50 millimeter lens on here. It's the Canon EF lens of 50 millimeters. I put all of the outfits in here as my vlogging tripod, vlogging camera. Um, but yeah, all the outfits are in this bag and then we'll just go over to the bathrooms and then she'll change into the first outfit and we'll go shoot. And then obviously just keep going. 
And as most of you guys know, when I first started my boutique, I was doing all of the modeling and I had a photographer taking pictures of me and I modeled everything. But now that I'm really trying to diversify the brand and show other models with different shapes and sizes and colors, I have decided to scout out other models and I've been the photographer now. And I actually mentioned this in an Instagram caption on like a reel about how much I loved being behind the camera, but actually being the photographer is also so much fun. I get so much enjoyment out of it and everything I've learned about shooting in manual, I've taught myself how to do. So I feel like I've come so far. Like I'm pretty good at taking pictures now, at least like the portrait photography side of things for the website. I've come a really long way and it feels really good. Oh, I think that's Leandra's car. Oh, she parked all the way down there. Okay, I will talk with you guys after I'm done. back home now photo shoot went awesome I came home and I literally had just enough time to get those pictures up on the website for the new items and everything's live I already have orders coming in and my little machine that counts my orders is like updating it actually freaks me out a little bit I'm not gonna lie don't know how I feel about that it's like hearing it randomly do that even though I know what it is now I don't know it just kind of scares me just wrote out some thank you cards for some of the orders that came in and now I'm going to start packing orders taking a break from packing orders because I'm going to work on a little Cricut project and Cricut is the sponsor of today's video and I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this cute little project. I'm actually making a little gift for both Alyssa and I because I'm going to Orlando this weekend, hang out with her and I wanted to bring her a little gift. Her and her boyfriend moved a few months ago and you know it was very heartbreaking for me because she's my best friend and we don't get to see each other as much anymore so I thought it would be really thoughtful and sweet to make her and I matching wine tumblers with our names on them. I bought these insulated tumblers off Amazon and the color is so freaking pretty and I just thought it would be really cute to write our names on these and then we could just have these that match and she has a pool at her new apartment complex so I'm sure we're going to be lounging by the pool this weekend. We can have a drink out of these so it'll be perfect. The Cricut machine I'm going to be using for this little project is my Cricut Joy which is my favorite. I also have the Cricut Explore Air 2 which I've used for some projects before but I love the convenience of this one how easy it is to store because it's so small and you can do so much with it. It's also really nice because all of the Cricut Joy products are like smart projects. So you don't have to use a mat or anything. You can just put them right into the Cricut Joy. It cuts tons of different materials and it's so fast. I've shown you guys this past week all of the different t-shirts and stuff I've made with my sun styled logo. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make custom tumblers for a friend just in time for summer when we could all use a little insulated wine glass. I also got some polyacrylic to seal it. I do have to read up on this to make sure it's safe to use on these. I know that for like regular cups this probably isn't the best option because those are going to go in the dishwasher or like mugs and stuff because your lips might touch where you're sealing. But for this I think it should be okay because the vinyl is only going to be on the pink part and your lips are mostly just going to touch up here and I'm not going to seal the entire thing. I'm most likely just going to seal where the actual vinyl sticks. So of course we're going to need transfer tape and then I have three different types of vinyl for this project. I don't think I'm going to do pink on pink, although this is a dark pink, so that might look kind of cool. Now I'm conflicted. But initially I got this like sparkly silver one because I thought it would look pretty and kind of match the stainless steel, you know, and have it in writing. Like it might 
look kind of cool and then also of course just have white which would also look really pretty i am so conflicted right now i thought this was going to be an easy decision i was definitely going to go with the silver but now i really really feel like the pink would look cool so would the white okay i think i'm going to go with the white because i feel like it's going to pop the most but i'm going to go ahead and use the cricut design space and customize our names i'm going to try to find a really pretty like cursive font the cricut design space is another thing that makes the cricut so much fun to use because it literally just emanates creativity there's so many fonts to choose from you can upload your own and then i've shown you guys in the past all of the shapes and images and different project ideas that they have right on the design space so if you have certain materials and you're not sure what you can do with them you will find so many amazing ideas i feel like i've just been going crazy with the Cricut lately, especially with the Cricut Joy because you can just like label everything. So I decided that I'm just going to upload PNG images so that I can use a different font that's on there without having to go and upload one. So I picked this really pretty calligraphy font. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload both of these onto our canvas. Using my little ruler, I'm just going to go ahead and figure out how big I want the names to be. I don't want them to be too big because I want to be able to see it from the side. So I'm thinking maybe like three and a half inches or like 3.25 inches. And now that we know the size that we're gonna use, I'm just gonna resize these using the tool up here. Basically acts as a roller so you can figure out which size to use. Now I'm just loading the vinyl in. So it basically just checks that it has enough material. Then you click go and it starts cutting. Okay, here is the final product. I am literally obsessed with these. They turned out way better than I was expecting and I'm really glad I decided to go with the white because it does really pop on here. And now all that's left for me to do is seal these and then I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll give this one to Alyssa as a gift and I'll have mine for this weekend. So as you guys can see, it's super easy to make little DIY projects with the Cricut Joy. If you guys wanna check out this or if you wanna recreate this project, you can make mugs, tumblers, water bottles, all of that basically the same exact method that I'm doing here. I'll leave everything I use in the description box below as well as the website so you guys can check out Cricut and thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Hello again guys it is much later now and I just parked I'm waiting for Katie I'm actually meeting her tonight for happy hour but we're first gonna run a couple of errands she said she has to do a return at Express and then I need to go to Sephora to get more of my Laneige lip balm I've been using that dead serious for like two years straight and every time I run out I repurchase it it's probably my number one repurchase product it's just that good and every time I try a different type of lip balm I'm just not as satisfied so I need to get some more of that really quick but I'm trying not to buy anything else unnecessary if they have the dewy version of the urban decay setting spray I might pick that up too but that's it because I gotta save money also curled my hair again doing the loose waves method some of the pieces ended up a little too curly like this one i think it looks pretty good overall pretty wavy hey hello hey i'm with katie i don't know if you guys can even see me right now because i can't really see the screen but we just got diet cokes and we're at annie ann's we already went and got our dinner and we also had some happy hour drinks but i completely forgot to vlog it so now we're just sitting here and we decided to go to annie ann's and get some of katie's favorite little hot dogs. <laughs> hot dog bites. Little hot dog bites. Pigs in a blanket, if you will. 
We have stopped for ice cream. I got cappuccino flavor that's <laughs> melting. Katie got hazelnut. It's actually yeah. gelato. Gelato ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl is in bed. I just did a face mask and now I'm about to read my book and go to sleep soon. It was a really good night, but I had maybe a little bit too much to drink. But the thing is, we only had two drinks, but we went to Tommy Bahama and their drinks are so strong. So it only took two drinks and we were both like really buzzed. So that's why we went and had ice cream and we got drinks and just walked around like we were trying to get our buzz to wear off before we drove home. Always a good time with Katie. I'm going to Orlando tomorrow though and hanging out with Alyssa and Ivan. Chad and I are gonna be there for the rest of the weekend. I'm so excited to see them, but I'm probably not gonna vlog because I haven't seen Alyssa in so long and I really just want to like enjoy our time together. But you guys should totally follow along on Instagram stories because of course I will be posting on there, kind of updating our adventures. I find myself so much more active on Instagram stories when I'm not vlogging that day because it's just hard to do it all. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring. Again, everything I used for that little DIY project will be linked in the description. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.